Here are the tests on my 2022 Kohler Elliston Revolution 360. It is set to the water line on the original flush valve. Let's give this a flush and see how it does on tests. The flush is very interesting. I don't know how well it will actually do on these tests or how well it would do on normal use, but it's gonna be very interesting to see how it does on my tests. First, let's see if it can take a washcloth. Usually the toilets with this type of trapway, like the class fives and class sixes, tend to do very well, so I'm thinking it will pass this perfectly. It sucked that thing down like a pressure assist toilet. Now let's see if it can take a grocery bag. Honestly, uh, this could go either way. Passed perfectly. Now let's see if it can take the washcloth and the grocery bag together. I think it might struggle, but if I hold the handle down, it will pass. So I'm going to try a press and release flush, and if it doesn't pass perfectly, once it goes through, I'm going to try it again and hold the handle. Dang. It perfect passed a washcloth and a grocery bag. Now... Let's see if it can take a dish towel. I think it'll pass perfectly. Yep, did perfectly as expected. I really hope they did redesign the Cimarron so that it performs like this, because right now they perform like utter garbage. So I really hope they learn their lesson from this one, assuming that it does have good borings. I haven't tested that yet. I'm going to do that one last, but now I'm going to do a test that I'm very interested to try, which is the clogged siphon jet. The siphon jet is clogged, so let's see how it flushes with a press and release flush. It didn't really do much, but it swirled really powerfully. So I'm going to wait for the tank to fill back up, and then I'm going to hold the handle. Also, the aqua piston stayed up a lot longer than I thought it would. Usually they just close right after you open them, so maybe they're improving that too. But the tank should be about full, so let's hold the handle this time and see how it does. That 360 bull rinse is really cool looking with the siphon jet clogged, but it really would do nothing on normal use in the, in the condition like this. So definitely it would not work with a clogged siphon jet. Now let's see how it flushes with a clogged rim jet. I clogged the one single rim jet, which is right there. And so this is going to have literally zero bull rinse. I'm kind of interested to see how it flushes.
It flushes like a new glacier bay. Honestly, that's kind of bad, but at least it's powerful. Now let's try an ash test. The ash isn't really sticking to the sides because it's a new toilet, but I'm interested to see how this does. So Kohler advertises the Revolution 360 technology as Kohler's cleanest flush. Now, if you, if you may remember, I tested a 2000s round Ingenium Wellworth, and that did 10 out of 10 perfect. So if this is Kohler's cleanest, cleanest flush, it has to do equal or better than perfect. So I'm just going to get this large clump down a little further because that wouldn't really be fair to have a big mass. But if this doesn't do perfect, they're lying. Wow. Wow. Round of applause for that big lie. Look at that. You cannot even see the trapway opening. So it did do very, very well on the bull rinse. Got to give them credit for that. But this is absolutely unacceptable. And of course, some got stuck in the crack there, but that is zero fault of the toilet. So I am really disappointed by this. I would have thought it would do better. My main concern originally was it looked like it had sort of a weak spot right here, and I was expecting it might leave a little bit there. I don't know, you might want to rewind the video and just see if it took that immediately or if it took its time. But this is really, really sad. I would have thought they would do better, but I'm going to um, just give it another flush and see if it can take the rest. Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. I'm going to drain the rest of the water from the tank by holding the handle, and I'm going to see if that solves it. Overall, this was a very, very interesting toilet to test. The performance is amazing, and the bowl rinse is perfect, but they desperately need to fix that flush because it leaves so much dirt behind in the bowl. But overall, I'm really happy I got this and I have zero regrets of paying the $5 for this originally $270 toilet. But anyway, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.